So first we need to go to our browser and search for MongoDB. So I'm here in my Chrome and here I am searching MongoDB. And I need to go to the official website of the Mongo. And after that in this uh, docs uh, menu, inside this doc menu I have this server. So I need to go here, let me open this and here we have this installation tab here at the left side. So if I click here, I can see here in MongoDB Community Edition Installation Tutorials, I have this Mac OS. If you have Windows, then you can follow this Windows guideline. If you have Mac, then you follow uh, this Mac OS guidelines. Let me open this. And here if you go down, you can see step by step process how we can install. So first thing is install Homebrew. So for Mac OS, we need a Homebrew package by default. And uh, if you already have installed, then you don't need to worry about it. But if you don't have installed in your machine, then you can go here at the official instruction page. Under this install homebrew uh, title, we have this one command. Just copy this and paste it in your terminal and, uh, and it will install homebrew in your machine. So if you don't know it is installed or not in your machine, then you can open your terminal and you can fire here something like brew iPhone iPhone version. And if you, it, it will show you the version of homebrew if it is installed. If, it's, if it is not installed, then it will show you that brew command is not uh, uh, not found. So after successful installation of this homebrew, you can come again here in this page and you can see here, which is uh, showing us how to install. So first we need to tap a homebrew with MongoDB server. So tapping is kind of establishing connection. So this command is to do that. So let me just copy from this button and go here and paste it. If I do hit enter, then it will show me something. So you can see here our tapping process is done. And after this, if I go here in our brew install MongoDB command, this is the actual command to install Mongo. So just uh, let me do this uh, copy with uh, this button. And on this terminal, I can do control V, command V for Mac and hit the enter. So this 4.2 is a version of the Mongo and you can change it based on uh, your requirement but uh, 4.2 is the latest version and it is installing right now. So after successful installation we can we need to run this uh, community server so for that we have these two command if you want to run uh, your uh, your mongo as a background process you can fire this one but I prefer to go with this uh, mac OS service so this will run mongodb as a service let me just copy this and in our terminal we can do paste it and hit the enter. So as you can see here, it is a successfully started MongoDB community. And after this, we can uh, connect with uh, this server. So let me open this new terminal from here, shell and a new window basic. And I am here in my new terminal. And here, let me make this uh, font bigger so you can see this. And here, if I do Mongo and hit enter, then it will connect it with that uh, running service. So as you can see here, we have some important information here. It, uh, those information are, it is a version 4.2.3 and then we have this Mongo URL. So you can see here this 127.0.0.1, which is a local host uh, IP address and this 27017 is the port number. So I already mentioned that Mongo will use 27017 as a default port number you can change this if you want from your uh, config file so moving ahead you can fire some command here and perform some operations so let's say if i do show dbs then it will give me the list of all the databases now let's install mongo in windows and uh, first we need to download mongodb from mongodb.com and uh, for that go to web browser and open mongodb.com and uh, here we have this uh, docs menu and uh, inside that we have this server so open that server and uh, here at the right side we have installation tab so here in uh, community installation guidelines we have link for windows installation and uh, here we have this uh, download center so open that so here we have this selection field where we can choose versions platform and package 
and uh, we can get binary files also in zip format if we want but in our case msi format is fine so choose msi format and uh, click download so download is done now and uh, go to package file and uh, double click on it so it will open this uh, prompt and uh, click next then we have license and terms so we need to accept it and uh, next and uh, then we have two options to choose from and uh, here i'm gonna choose complete so this complete option will install all the features and uh, if you choose custom then the next uh, prompt will ask you to choose the features that you want so select complete and uh, here i'm gonna install mongodb server as a service so this first option and then in this service name and other fields i'm not gonna change anything but uh, but if you want a different name for your service and a different location for your data and uh, log directory then we can change it from here so moving ahead select next so here we have one more option called install mongodb compass so this mongodb client is their official mongo gui client and we will learn about them but uh, for now just select it and do next and uh, install so this installation is starting so now this installation is done and uh, let's go to installation location and uh, we have that location over first we need to go to c drive then program files and inside this program files we have mongodb then we have server then we have version number and we have bin folder so as you can see here inside this bin we have all important files that can start our mongo so we have this mongod file to start mongo server as a service and uh, then we have this mongo file which is to start mongo shell so mongo shell is uh, the command prompt basically from where we can do all the communication related commands so first we need to start mongo server as a service and for that we can do it by double clicking on it and also we can start it from command prompt so copy this location first and open command prompt and uh, write cd so this cd is the command to uh, go inside the uh, directory and control v to paste the location here that we copied before so this command will uh, take us to that location and uh, if we hit enter then we we are in that location so first we need to start mongo server by calling mongo d command so if you fire this command it is giving this error and uh, this error is saying a data directory not found so basically this location inside c drive we have this data folder and then we have db folder so this particular location mongo requires because mongo stores all the data over there and this is their default location so we need to go to c drive and create this directory so i am here at c drive create new folder and rename that to data and uh, then go inside this data folder and create one more folder and rename that to db so now inside this c drive we have data and we have db so this path uh, exists and uh, now open command from again and fire the same command mongod and uh, this time there won't be any error and it will start this out so this server is up and running and now we need to open mongo shell and uh, for that open one more command from window and uh, go to that same location by cd and path command and uh, let me make a font bigger and arrange it horizontally so you guys can see and uh, here i can fire mongo command so this mongo command will open our mongo shell which is up and running now so now in this mongo shell if i fire this show db command then it is showing all the databases inside it so this way we can start mongo and we can perform all the operation from this shell but here if i close this prompt and start again and if i fire this mongo command it is giving me error that a command not found because we are not in that location so we need to go to that location but every time going to that location is also not convenient so we can register this path with system variable and to register that open your system menu from a control panel and open this advanced system setting and open this environment variables and here we have this path and uh, double click on that and add one more path which is that location so now hit ok and finish this process and now close our old command from window and open new window and fire same command mongo and uh, it is working so this way we can also register our uh, path with this uh, environment variable 